Luke, I, I think the story of trust in Japan really has to start with um, the issues with the car makers and where the car makers had big safety failures and weren't transparent about the safety records and what they'd been finding and got called in front of any number of regulators, most notably um, U.S. Congress testimony. So I think that started to um, say to Japanese elites, we, we may have a problem here. Um, then I think you had the, the tsunami and, and the uh, nuclear issues that weren't um, communicated with openly, they weren't communicated quickly, they certainly weren't communicated transparently by both business and government, and therefore we've seen a massive shift down in trust across the board in Japan. So you have an economy that's struggling, you have a government and business that aren't necessarily transparent, you have a lot of doubts in this very proud society, and I think you're seeing that front and center in those Japanese results. I think it's a big wake-up call for Japan government and Japan business leaders to engage with opinion leaders and the general population on the issues that are most important to them in a very tough economic condition and with an aging population.